The name of this series is How to Play the Blues When You Don't Have Them. Uh, it was originally written in my book as to how I came up with the title. Uh, actually, I was on a gig. I was playing with a relatively new drummer. He'd been with me for about a year. And we were playing in a club one night, and uh, he came to me on a break and said, uh, Hey, Mark, how, how come you never call a blues? I noticed the whole time I've been playing with you, we never do any blues. And it was a piano, bass, and drums situation. And I thought about it, and I basically said quickly, because I don't have them. And he thought about that, and then he smiled and said, okay, yeah, I get that, because I actually don't have the blues. Uh, I'm a very positive thinking person. I'm very grateful that I'm alive at this point in my life. And back then, I was even more grateful to be alive. Um, you know, so uh, this is why I came up with the title. Blues is a form. It's a wonderful outlet to improvise on. And I hope to show you all these different things on this particular form that open the door to other styles of music and other types of music, other ways of playing and other ways of improvising. So I'm hoping to cover everything I've done over the years with my students uh, using my book, which I'm now um, breaking up into pieces and doing pretty much in the order that it was sold uh, according to chapters, but I'm unpacking each chapter as I always did with my students when they were in the studio with me. So uh, there could be a lot of videos, um, but they're all overlapping and intermingling with the idea of improvising, using blues as a foundation point and a starting point to build on. So I hope that you'll enjoy it. I hope you'll keep a couple of things in mind. Um, and one of them, which I probably will say many, many times, is don't judge your playing. Uh, don't be hard on yourself. If you're coming at this as a new player or a beginner, or you're frustrated because you can't find what you're looking for, um, give yourself the chance to develop your technique, to train your ear, and to do things um, from a brand new perspective. Uh, sometimes we have to actually block, not repress, but just shun the voices from the past that say that we're not going to be able to do something or that we're not going to be able to do this. So we don't want any negative voices. We don't want to be saying, I can't do this or I'll never be able to do this. I'll never be able to do that. When I was uh, very young, I was listening to rock and roll and pop music and of course a lot of different things, but I never listened to really uh, I didn't listen to jazz in the serious way. It was like in movies and it was in the cartoons. Uh, and then a friend turned me on to some jazz, straight ahead jazz, and also uh, fusion, some things, and then uh, some things with strings by jazz musicians. And these guys were amazing. They were absolutely amazing. And uh, there's just something in me when I heard that that made me say, I want to do that. And many of my peers who wanted to be musicians would say, I'll never be able to do that. So I'm just giving that to you to think about as food for thought. So here I am, I'm 63 years old. I've been performing professionally all my life, recording and teaching and composing and basically pursuing my artistic life since I first dreamed the dream of doing it when I was in high school, very early high school. All of the musicians who said, I'll never be able to be that good, or I'll never be able to play like so-and-so on their given instruments, um, all of them who said that are not playing anymore. They've all stopped, um, and they all gave up, and they all went into other things. They all found that they couldn't make it. I don't believe they couldn't make it. I believe they decided that it wasn't possible. I think when we, I believe, and I know as the poster child for this, that when we do things with a positive attitude, we follow our dreams no matter what, we can have our dreams. We can accomplish anything. 
So it's very important that you not say, oh, I could never do that, or I won't be able to do that, or I wish I could do this better. That one works. That'll always work, because I still say that. I still practice every day. But I've never said, wow, I'll never be able to do that, or I'll never be able to do this or that. You don't want to say that. You always want to be positive. So that's one thing to remember uh, and, and uh, try hard to find that in yourself. Where, does, where do those negative things come up that make you give up? Uh, so one night I was playing in a club and a man came up to me and said, you know, uh, you've obviously listened to this guy, this guy, I can hear all the influence in you. And I agreed with him. But he said, you know, well, I went to a club one night and I heard so-and-so play and I knew then I would never be that good. So I quit playing and never played again. Um, wow, uh, this is what I'm saying this to you for. Uh, is so that you'll think about that. Don't do that to yourself. You can play for enjoyment. You don't have to be a professional, but you don't want to compare yourself to other people. Know where you're at at every stage of your life and your development and always be yourself and just politely reject anybody who says you can't have your dreams or you can't follow your dreams or you can't pay your bills as a musician or whatever they might say, it's not true if this is truly what you want to do. So remember that, that's something so important. And I'll probably hit that a lot over the time on all my videos because I want to encourage everybody to pursue their dreams and their goals, whatever they might be. Uh, but in the case of playing, you can do anything. You can do, accomplish anything. I hope to demonstrate a lot of that for you. So this is uh, going to be the series opener for how to play the blues when you don't have them. And, you know, when you wake up every day and you live your life as an artist, there's really nothing to be bummed out about. There is nothing to be sad about um, because you get to create music, you get to practice music, and you get to play music. Uh, and it's not even whether you have an audience or not on any given day. It's that this is what you do. So... How could anything be bad when that's what you get to do? And the same is true if it's just a hobby for you or it's something you enjoy. If you can play the piano and you can express yourself, and you can improvise, then you can always go to that when life is troublesome, when life is hard, when there are difficulties. You can always go to music and play. You can always go to your... CD collection, your album collection, whatever. You can listen to music and become free from the troubles. You can go to the music and express yourself. And you can't think bad thoughts or negative thoughts when you're actually practicing and trying to better yourself at an instrument. It's just not possible. Try it. You'll see. So this is going to be all about positive reinforcement, showing that you can do anything you put your mind to. And I have... And it's nothing to brag about because I believe this is a gift from God. So I'm basically doing what God gives us. It's always positive. God doesn't talk mean to us. He doesn't tell us we're losers. He doesn't tell us we'll never amount to anything. He doesn't tell us we can't play or we're not good. Or we're not as good as so-and-so. He doesn't say things like that to us. He gives us gifts and then he hopes we'll use them to glorify him with them, yes, and to find a better quality of life during our short stay here. So uh, I've already got some videos up on this blues thing going, but I wanted to do my intro video uh, so that that's out there as well. And uh, I look forward to seeing you and talking to you and sharing with you very soon.